So I just finished these really cool modern nightstands that have a secret compartment. That video will actually be out on Sunday. Um, and we had to do a ton of sanding in that project. And I realized that I didn't know how to sand properly well into my woodworking career. And I also didn't realize how much a flat surface makes a difference when you're putting on finish. It really helps with sheen and making your project look just gorgeous up close and from afar. So I had learned this cool little tip a couple years ago that really just made all the difference. And you know, as you're sanding up through the grits, you're gonna take away quite a bit of material. And the question is, how do you take it away evenly? Especially like on these nightstands, I had these 42 inch panels that were a grain wrap miter. And so I sanded them all before we cut them. And it's like, how do you stay the same thickness across 42 inches? Well, it's simple. I'm gonna show you. Um, what you're gonna use is just a pencil. And all you have to do is you're gonna use that pencil and you're just gonna to wanna to draw on your board like this. And to show you what a difference this makes, we're gonna take a measurement and see how much we take off while we're sanding. So this board is about 0.54 thick and it's got planar marks on it and it's just a complete disaster. This was an off cut from the panel. So once you draw your pencil on, you're gonna go ahead and start with 80. I like to go, 80, 120, 150, 180, 220. And the reason that you don't skip up way higher to a grit is it's the, if you go, let's say from 120 to 220, 220 is not gonna be able to remove the scratch patterns from 120. So what you wanna do is just sand until the pencil's gone with each grit. But what's important here is if you sand over an area and all the pencil around it is gone, but the, the center is not, that means you have a low spot and you don't wanna then use your sander and like dig in on the edge to get that low spot. You want to stay with the same grit, redo your pencil and go back over it. And the reason is that you wanna get the whole piece down to that low spot. Uh, same thing with a high spot. If you have one area that just is like a big mountain and you keep sanding that off, but not the rest around it, then you, and this would be an extreme example, um, then you would wanna just sort of go over that area until you are hitting the pencil around it. So we're gonna sand up through the grits, we're gonna check our thickness. We were 0.54, I know this board's kind of wavy, so we'll measure from the same area. So let's say 0.54, like right in here. So we'll see where we're at. Oh, we'll definitely get this top flat, but I know the bottom has like a weird chunky planar mark front in it, so. Um, I don't want to skew the measurement. And you'll see when I go over with this 80 grit, there's some planar marks and some jointer marks in here. Um, and from the spiral cutter head on my, my big planer, which it needs to be changed. Uh, so you'll see that there'll be parts where the pencil doesn't get removed. And I'll probably have to go back over with 80 grit one more time. So as you can see, we did our whole 80 grit here and I do have one low spot in here um, where the pencil is kind of faint. Instead of going over this area and trying to get down to that, I'm just gonna go one more time with 80. And then once you get it flat with 80, you should be pretty good as long as you continue to use the pencil trick every single time. And then when I get to 220, I won't go as heavy. I'll just like kind of lightly do it because 220 is gonna go really fast. And if you, some some pencils, especially if you're using like a thick carpenter pencil, if you go really dark, it can even, you know, leave graphite in the wood. So when I get to like the final grit, I'll go really light. So I'm gonna go over to this with all the grits uh, very, very quickly, and then we'll check the thickness. Okay, so we've got a really nice smooth flat surface and we're at about 0.52. So we took off 0.02 and if we were doing both sides, that'd be 0.04. Look how thick this is. I mean, that's like the thickness of a dime and keeping things flat is really important. And don't worry, uh, when you start doing this, it seems like it takes a while at first to get the pencil off, but the lower the grits, like 80, 120, it takes a while, but then once you get up into 150, 180, 220, it's like goes away almost instantly as soon as you pass over it. Um, so yeah, you just go to your pencil's gone and you get perfectly, perfectly flat boards. That is dead flat all the way across. And that thing had like 
chunked out planer marks and joiner marks in it from milling and it is just dead flat. So uh, use that tip and improve your woodworking and I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay safe in the shop. We'll talk to you soon.